All right, I found this article on James Rutherford. I don't think it's as funny <laughs> as the one that I found on uh, Jeff Sokol, but, I mean, but, it don't have to do. So, anyways, let's go. <laughs> Look at this doofus all nice and zoomed in. Hey, much better shot than the blurry crap we've been looking at. <laughs> Alias is Jim. Okay, that makes sense. And I, you Rutherford? I, you Rutherford? What is that supposed to mean? It's almost like you meant to spell Jim and then just screwed up, missed the J, hit the wrong key instead of the and probably from beating off, you know, one hand was busy, the other hand was trying to type. He got the Rutherford right, though, but maybe he types his last name enough so the, the his computer just auto-knew. Are you... You, Rutherford? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Affiliation, occupation, St. Margaret hmm. of York Catholic School. Well, ain't that something. Marital status... Fucked up. I mean, divorced. <laughs> Date of birth, February 14, 1980. Aw. Ooh, wow, that's weird. His birthday's on Valentine's Day? His birthday just went by. It was what? Today's the 16th? Yeah, yeah, today's the 16th. <laughs> so this idiot just turned, what, 42? <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Uh, you know, I keep calling him uh, the OG Sokol. They're like the same age. Sokol's what, 44? He's two years younger than him. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Sokol was 44 as of 2015 or 16, whenever that sting was. Ah, dang it. Still, they were a lot closer in age than I thought. But like I said before, it is confusing because Rutherford was young, you know, 10, 15 years ago when this sting happened versus Sokol, which was more recent. So it makes that discrepancy. So you have a, an image in your head of James being young and Sokol being older. When in reality, they're in the same timeline. Anyhow, gender, male. Really? I had no idea. What gave that one away? Eye color, green. Is it? Looks pretty black to me. Hair color, bald. Why does it say brown? What are you talking about? Are you talking about his beard? <laughs> I guess he has more hair than I thought. <laughs> See, I knew this was set up. James, after being confronted by Chris Hansen, who was an 8, 12-year-old girl, and killed that boner that he had holding up that weird table that we have him sitting at. James Rutherford was, suspe was a suspected predator involved in the Greenville, Ohio edition of To Catch a Predator. Ooh, the same one that you get Jeff Stacy at. And the guy playing with his... Well, he wasn't really playing with his dick, but he's just that weird zipper thing. The hillbilly guy. Hillbilly guy. Oh, oh no, sir. I just came here to party. What's his name? What's that guy's name? I don't know. Anyhow, biography. <laughs> Rutherford was, keyword... A sixth grade teacher at St. Margaret of York Catholic School in Loveland, Ohio. Man, the irony there. It's a religious school and you're over here trying to fuck kids? But at the same time, I mean, it's Catholic, so very fitting that you should work there. I'm surprised you weren't the dean. Anyways, I wonder how far away Loveland is from uh, Greenville. He was 26 years old at the time of the sting operation. You know, considering he was only 26 and, like, you gotta go to college and stuff, I wonder how, how long he was actually working at that school for. You know, because say he goes to, what do you need? You need to have, like, a master's degree, right? So that's four years plus at least another two, so that's six years. So if he went right after high school, let's say 18, 24. So that means maybe he was only working there for, like, two years. <laughs> Way to fuck your life up, bro. <laughs> um, Rutherford met and chatted up a decoy online pretending to be a 13-year-old girl named Danica. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't think I ever knew what her name was. Danica? Hmm. They talked about one subject, sex. <laughs> At one point, he even sets up a webcam session with a decoy where he takes off his shirt and flexes his muscles. <laughs> okay, Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> no, this guy's average as hell. What is he flexing? <laughs> I mean, I guess <laughs> in the eyes of a 13-year-old, he'd be chiseled, right? Because all the girls, I mean, the boys in her class are just twigs still. They haven't hit puberty. They don't have any kind of muscle mass. <laughs> so an adult <laughs> that has very minimal will look ripped. <laughs> Soon after agreeing to meet up with the girl, Rutherford gets a super hard cock. I mean, he's become suspicious and begins to have second thoughts about his planned visit. Yeah, okay. That's just what he said. <laughs> you know he was hard the whole ride there. I mean, shit, he showed up in his Corvette on purpose, too. He's like, damn, that bitch is going to be soaked when she sees my red vet. <laughs> Only thing, bro, is you forgot she's 13 and kids don't really care about cars yet. At least not girls. Boys might, but not a girl. Beasting and arrest. 
He shows up at the house in the end and goes in to search for the girl with his fucking dick hanging out. Calling on her and teaching her, to, I mean, telling her to come to him. <laughs> yeah, he sure wanted her to come to him, huh? Eh, eh, eh? Chris Hansen then appears. Boom! Magic. <gasps> Pen and teller. <laughs> and asks Rutherford to sit down for some questions. To which he responded, man, fuck off. <laughs> for 36 minutes straight. <laughs> I mean, to which he responded with tons and tons of excuses about how he did not want to do this. Even though he was there and had a very explicit chat log that said otherwise. And that he knew it had to be a setup. And he just wanted to be busted. Because, you know, fuck my life, I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> During his interview with Chris, Rutherford states that he was going through a divorce and simply wanted to get out of the house. Bro. I don't even know if I saw that in the videos, but that's such a, that's such a stupid excuse. I wanted to get out of the house. <laughs> so your plan was to get out of the house to go meet up with a kid? What? Let, what? You're on a chatting site. You had the whole world that you could have chatted with. You could have you could have found anybody that was your age to get out of the house for. Even a guy. I don't mean like to go on a gay day. I just mean to hang out. Like, hey, what's up, bro? Want to go play some football? Get out of the house. I gotta figure out how far um, where he lives is from where the sting was. So hold on, give me a minute. All right, Loveland, Ohio to Greenville is. Uh, <laughs> why do they give you the walking stats? Twenty-two hours, fifty-three minutes. Cool. No, driving's an hour and a half. So, I mean, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it's not super far, but at the same time, I mean, that is quite a hike. I mean, let me think. My job, I I used to work, um, I used to work about an hour and a half away, and that always felt so long. But that was for work. And this this dumbass is driving that long just to try to hook up with some kid. That's what? What? what huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, that's if you go via I seventy five north. Then you got these two, an hour, 45 minutes, hour, 44 minutes. <sighs> That's a hike for no reason. Oh, I just want to get out of the house. Okay, bro. Anyways, where were we? Want to get out of the house? <laughs> when asked what he was there to do with the girl he had been talking to, he says that there was no plans for anything sexual to take place. A very common excuse. Yeah, okay, bro, nothing sexual. I mean, you're half getting naked, flexing for her, and talking about it, and you showed up after talking about it. Yeah, okay, you were just there, what, to hang out? Oh, I'm going through a divorce. I needed somebody to talk to. Because mm, a kid's going to be able to relate. <laughs> she's never even had a boyfriend yet. You think she's going to be able to relate to divorce? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> he appears confident from the beginning that he was on a national television. And states later into the interview that he was probably on TV. To which Chris Hansen confirms. Making Rutherford put his hand into his head. I mean, his head into his hands as the camera crew walk out. Um... Chris Hansen didn't confirm, and he wasn't on TV at the time. That's Those things aren't live. I mean, you know how boring they'd be if they were live? Because uh, those take place over the course of days. Obviously, it's edited so it can fit into a you know half hour or whatever, a full hour segment and be more entertaining. But yeah, so he wasn't on TV yet. And um, I don't think Chris confirmed. He said that he is he is working for a television program, and they're just building a story, and they don't. But he also said they don't know who's going to be in the story yet. So he didn't really confirm that he was in the that James was in the show. It, it was at that point it was just potential, because that's when he goes on to try to. Uh, James tries to go on to bargain with him. Oh, can 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 we please not have this get aired? Can I can I work with you to get therapy instead or something? Blah blah blah. So, that line is a bit wrong. Anyhow, Brother Tate says leaves and exits the house after three and a half thousand millenniums, <laughs> where he is arrested by the Dark County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, and those cops were probably frustrated as hell, waiting forever for him to come out. <laughs> Normally, they like to tackle these guys, yell at them, tase them, just, be, just, for, the, just for the purpose of entertainment with the show. And this time, they were just kind of casual, just walked out. Dark County Sheriff's Department, put your hands up. And then, of course, James is already expecting it, so he just stops and does it anyways before they had to say anything. <laughs> Initially, James tried to fight the charges in court, but eventually pled guilty. What? What's the point of that? First off, how are you going to fight them when there's so much evidence? I mean, you're busted on TV. Obviously, they have your chat log. Like, come on, bro. 
And then what's even dumber is you eventually pled guilty. So you went through all that work for for nothing. What was the point of that? Okay, fine. Yeah, you're right. I was trying to fuck that 13-year-old Danica. <laughs> even though under oath I said I wasn't. <laughs> Seriously? He received 45 days in county jail, 36 months probation, and a 10-year stay on the registered sex offender list. 45 days in county jail, 36 months probation? That seems kind of short. 45 days? That's it? That's, that's a month and a half. And, um... 36 months probation. I don't entirely know what that means. So what what does that mean? Does that mean he, he just, uh, he was able to get out, but he was on like restrictions and such. If he screwed up, then he'd go right back to jail or what does probation mean? I've never been arrested. And I do know some people that have been arrested, but I don't really talk about that stuff with them. It's not something I care about. It's not part of my life. So I don't know. And then 10 years on the RSO. So let's see, 10 years. This was what, maybe 2005, 2006? That means he's off of it now. So that's kind of, hmm, that's something. Because, you know, he would have came off 2015, 2016, even at the latest, 2017. So he's been off for at least, what, four years now? Yeah, four, four and a half years, depending on when he went on it. Yeef. James is free, other than us making fun of him. <laughs> Trivia slash post-predator activities. Rutherford was also involved in a chat with the Deagle oper operation in Indiana at the same time he was engaged with the, the chat with Danica. What? <laughs> this idiot was flirting with two kids at the same time? Indiana, was that, um, was that also TCAP? Uh, I don't know. That would be weird, though, if it was some other sting. <laughs> He's getting himself busted twice. <laughs> he had seven pending felony, uh, he had seven pending felonies in that case because he Played with himself in front of the decoy. Bro, why was he more vulgar in that one? But the other one, he just pulls up his shirt and flexes. <laughs> was the girl in, in Indiana 14, so he thought it was a little bit more okay. Yeah, I can beat off for you, baby. <laughs> it appears to not have affected his time in the sex offender registry as he appears to be off of it now. Yeah, that's kind of, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Dangerous or something? I don't know. I mean, he's been, he, he, he's almost like, um... Oops, what was that guy's name? Uh, Siebert. He's like Siebert, and he's kind of like um, Canelli. I mean, Canelli was extreme, right, one after another. But they both got busted twice for doing the same thing. That's like him. Only his was, he got busted technically once because <laughs> he went to Greenville. So he didn't get the chance to go to Indiana. God, also, he's flirting with somebody in Indiana. How far... Greenville is in the same exact state as him, and it was an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes away. How far would be Indiana? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, how far away was this kid even, this supposed kid? I mean, it says decoy operation. So how far was this supposed kid away in Indiana? Like, what the heck? Man, he's willing to just go everywhere for kids. His wife leaves him. He's like, sweet, I get the fuck kids now. Yes! Like, what? <laughs> this guy is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> word. <sighs> yeah, so <laughs> that's just the final note I got here on Rutherford. A little story on him. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh, for some reason I always feel like he's he's gonna have like a cleft ear like um Adam Sandler has. I don't know. For some reason I get that vibe like that's what you'd have, but he just has a normal ear. Right there. <laughs> that little uh, cleft ear. He didn't know what I was talking about. Something I've always seen all the time in his movies, but this picture probably isn't the best angle to catch what I'm saying, but you can tell there's a little bump there. That side's normal and smooth. And then this side's got that bump. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was trying to see if there was a different angle. Maybe this one's better. Yeah, see what I mean? He's got like that all bumpy. He's got a cleft ear. I just call it cleft because it's like the people with the cleft lip, you know, only this is his ear. <laughs> anyway that's it so i don't know why he's small now whatever <laughs> that's all <laughs> for this guy so until uh whoever comes next actually i know who's coming next i'm gonna do um uh john dupay so until john dupay i said see ya